All right, guys, so here's the deal. Samsung got paid by these companies, you see, to add these buttons onto their remote that quick launch these apps. And these companies literally paid $1 per television to Samsung to get these buttons included on their remotes. So what you are looking at here because uh, there was a Prime Video and Netflix uh, and their own button. But anyways, they literally got $2 per television from these companies sold to include these. So I'm going to show you today how to remove them. Because they're really annoying. They put them right beneath the, the channel up, the volume. So typically what's happening is you're adjusting the volume on the television. You accidentally press the quick launch button. You get backed out of your app, which is... Uh, really annoying experience. You got to go back into it. Probably takes about 20 seconds on a high-end television to get back to the app that you're watching uh, and to resume your content. So let's just remove the buttons because, you know, Samsung didn't include any way to reprogram them. The company's paid to have them hard-coded. So in essence, this Netflix button will never go away unless you remove it. So what you're going to start by doing is poking this in here. I like to twist it upwards. And now as you poke through, you'll see the needle coming through the button. Now what you can do is you can close the needle. All right, so the needle's closed. And when we pull up, you can see this gray-like material here. And all you got to do is take a, a very sharp knife um, and you just poke right there as you pull it up. And you, it's very easy to cut. Keep in mind you're likely to scratch your remote doing this. I really don't care. These buttons are more annoying than a few scratches on my remote. And if you have a hot glue gun... Uh, you can potentially fill these spaces up. So then there's no holes in your remote. keeps any water or moisture out. Um, so, there we have it. Now, let's take the remote over to our television. And I'll show you that everything still works on it. So if we power up the TV. All right. Home button here. Still goes through our apps. Still go up, still go down. The, uh, let's see here, let's load. Let's watch something here on TV Plus. And then, uh, yep, volume up, volume down, still working. Channel up, channel down, still working. Um, I don't have my voice button set, but the uh, voice button, you can see that it uh, does flash a light at the top, indicating that it's working. Um, the multi-view uh, is still supported. Um, so yeah, everything works. You can power your TV down. And uh, yeah. That's how you remove those buttons. Like I said, if you get a hot glue gun, um, you are safe to hot glue onto that. Um, you could also take a little bit of electrical tape and just wrap it around. Luckily enough, the buttons are placed below the solar cells. So your remote will still charge if you were to bind it uh, with a little bit of electrical tape. But anyways, that is how you fix a Samsung television remote. I'm sure you spent a bunch of money on their TVs like I did. Uh, absolutely love the Neo QLEDs. Um, fantastic television. But uh, it doesn't matter what company you buy. Um, Sony, LG, whoever. They're all including these what are called billboard buttons. So... Um, if you want to remove them, I'm not sure on the other remotes if it breaks the remote, but on the Samsung remote, you can pull them right out, cut it with an X-Acto knife, uh, and then somehow fill the space or just leave it open. But like I said, don't spill any drinks in there uh, or your remote will need replacing. And I do believe these are 
uh, upwards of $100 to replace with the solar cell and the lithium ion battery that's included on them. So, kind of an expensive remote. But, anyways, you guys have a good rest of your day and enjoy your now fully functional remote with no quick launches. Thanks.